But I got my two cows, and they live here. They're happy and they're good. And then I built the chicken coop over here. Yo guys, what's up? Pizza Jello, and welcome to Stexel. How you guys doing? I'm doing jello -y as per usual. And uh, I'm already playing the game. We're gonna skip the whole tutorial. I had started it, but then I realized that I made a mistake and my microphone wasn't turned on. And so I did the whole tutorial and it's like, that's a full episode right there. That's like 20, 30 minutes of talking to NPCs and stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna play Staxel and we're just gonna skip the tutorial. If you wanna see the beginning part of it, like being introduced to the town and all that, you can go, go find somebody else, please. I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna assume that since this game is brand new and everybody's posting videos about it, that most of you have seen the beginning. And if you haven't, you basically just get introduced to the characters, you get to make your character, and you arrive in this town and they teach you how to farm. It's like Stardew Valley with Minecraft-y kind of, kind of voxel-y graphics, which I really like, uh, Harvest Moon-esque. I don't know, I never played Harvest Moon, I wouldn't know. Uh, but I chose to be a cat person, because I can. You can be a cat person, you can be an elf, you can be a human. I chose cat, because why not? Cat's better. Uh, and this is my little character, with the tail and everything. It's, it's good, it's good. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. So basically you got your town here, <clears throat> or you got your house here. You know, you got, got some stuff. There were a couple holes that I patched up. In here and you basically just get this house you get a, a pet you choose a dog or a cat I have received dog nature he is right there he has a lovely pink little collar and he just kind of lives here in his little dog house and I bought some plants some stuff from the town which I will show you the town now and basically after the tutorial they uh, the end game like end of the tutorial is to build a barn and to build a barn you get a sign and it tells you, you see, you get a little glowy outline. And that's kind of like your, uh, basically anything that needs to be in the barn, like to make the barn a barn, has to be within the glowing blocks, but the rest of it doesn't matter. So I have to have a roof, and I have to have two troughs. And I can toggle this so that it'll stay on or not. And if I have it on. And I also received a couple chickens, or a chicken rather. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff. So I've made my two troughs. I can show you how to make those. And, uh, I got a quest from a villager to make a patisserie, which I'm guessing is a bakery? I don't know. So I have a few things here, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is some supplies that I've gathered when I realized that my microphone wasn't on. And then this was an area that had kind of a rundown little house in it. I took that away, and I put up a sign that this will be for my future chickens. And then I have bought... Part one of the stuff that I need to buy is a constructing table, and I have no furniture. You get nothing here. My windows are broken. Everything's everything's bad. So we'll just leave that there. It's 3D Stardew Valley essentially. So let's go into the town, and I will quickly introduce you guys to what's happening here. All the villagers live in this town. This is the building shop, which is run by uh, Eliza, who's not in here. And you can buy anything you want from here, basically. And blueprints are how you pick pick your things. You buy something and you memorize it and then it shows up in your inventory here and it tells you how to do it. So you gotta assemble, construct, uh, you know, cut, boil, cook things, you can cook food. So eventually I'm assuming that I will learn how to make like these roof tiles and such, but you can buy your things here. And everything costs petals, so you have to buy petals. And then they have some free to, free to use tools here, so that you can, you know, put them together. And your inventory has stuff, so if I were to... Oh, that's my watering can. Go, go back. Okay, put, put the watering can back. Okay, let's see if I do that. And if I were to come over here, for say, and buy some nails. So, let's just kind of give you an idea how this works. Um, I have some lumber here, which is basically what you get when you chop down a tree. You get raw wood and you stick it in the saw. And so if I put the lumber down there, and then 
I put my nails here, then so you get your thing, so I can make a crate. I don't really want to make a crate right now, so I'll just take these back, and then, like, the saw works like that. We click on the saw, and then it'll just kind of auto-do it forever until you run out of stuff. <laughs> and you can stop it at any point, tell it, no, I don't want that. And... I guess it's slower than doing it yourself, but it will do it automatically, which is kind of nice. So, then over here we have the tavern, which is run by, I think his name is Rowan. Yeah, and that's Farm Fan. She's your little tutorial guide. She tells you how to, how to do stuff. And then he will give you, um, he will chat, he will give you rumors, so he'll tell you if there's anybody that has, like, quests in the town for you. Or you can buy a mug of sap from him. Mug of sap. Oh no. I can't afford the sap. <laughs> Not that I really wanted to eat the sap or drink the sap or whatever. And then these guys over here. <coughs> these guys are the merchants. They sell a variety of stuff. So you can buy, uh, you can buy things in the general store, but you could also buy them potentially for a lower price, I'm assuming. I haven't actually seen that. They've all been the same price as the store. But you can buy furniture, you can buy new clothing. Uh, ooh, hey, that's a nice shirt. Cat shirt. Headphones. And then here you can buy, you know, some animals. And they all just kind of have the same thing. Uh, greetings, I am Leon. I sell many fine wares. Uh, okay. Is that it? Oh, pfft. Place the item back in my stall. If you change your mind, I will buy wares you place on the small table. Activate it once you're done. And then he just repeats that over and over again. I don't see anything else. So if I wanted to sell something like this swamp rock that I apparently picked up somewhere. If I wanted to sell that, I put it here. And then it'll tell me how much I get for it. And I get petals for it. So he'll buy stuff for me. And then this, this one sells furniture. Seeds, furniture, some various building blocks and structures. Or I could buy the blueprints for the structures at the store. That is Mr. Mayor Man over there. Mr. Maximilian, he runs the town. This is the supermarket where you can buy all kinds of stuff. And you can also steal from their, their registers. I've never done that, but you can steal from their registers. You can buy decor and all kinds of stuff. You can buy capture crate you can buy signs for your animals those aren't necessary but they tell you they do tell you you know if you wanted to make a thing that says where your animals go um pet food sheep in a crate pig in a crate froth food chicken coop you can buy tools here you can buy different grass you can buy shipping catalog i don't know what that is you can buy shipping station i'm assuming that these are for things that you like oh what do you do you like so you can sell your stuff without coming to town a smoker for if you have bees, I guess? I don't know. Uh, you know, they got a whole bunch of stuff. And then, you know, furniture. They sell furniture here, too. And all kinds of outdoor stuff. And then recipes for food. Jars of water, empty jars, cheese, you know. They got all kinds of stuff. You can take your pick. And then boiling station, mixing station, chopping station. So that you can have the kitchen of your dreams. So the building store, the supermarket, and this, the merchants are really the only, like, places of interest that I've seen. This is called an airship landing station. I don't know what it does yet. It just looks cool. <laughs> I don't know if I can take anything from here, but it's kind of cool, you know, this got stuff. Can I, can I take any of this? Activate the scythe. I need a scythe to cut that? hammer to break this. I didn't think so. That's weird. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so, that's kind of cool. And then somebody lost their phone. I didn't get to find out who lost their phone. I can't figure it out. And then all the villagers' houses are over here. My house is back there. It's got a nice little green roof. That's just what it came with, which I actually quite like. And... So yeah, that's basically what we got. It's a cute little farming game. I like it a lot. And you can catch bugs. Very Animal Crossing-esque. You can just 
Bloop. Bug. And so this is where I've decided that my barn will go. What is that? Yellow socks. What? Dognator, are you bringing me weird things? Did you just bring me stuff and leave it here? Is that what this is? <coughs> Glowing with life. Oh, I'm <coughs> so glad that you're happy. <laughs> okay. So, I have this area set up. And I kind of marked out where I wanted my barn to go. And then this I got from the chicken coop. Or I guess what's going to be the chicken coop. That area that I demolished. And so my thought is that I will put these down here. And I will make a barn out of it. So I don't really need a huge barn. Um, the first quest that I got was to make this barn, and apparently if I make the barn, then the mayor will give me some cows. Is my understanding? I'm not quite sure. He said he had cows for me, but I have yet to receive these cows, so I'm assuming that I have to finish the barn before I get cows. I must be gifted the cow. So I'm just gonna put these down here, and I wanted to make kind of not a patchworky deal, you know, just something fun. And I might choose some different colors for this because, unfortunately, I don't have a recipe to make my own green blocks right now. So I'm stuck with, uh, buying them from the store, which is really expensive because I don't have a good way to make money yet. The best way I've found to make money is to catch bugs thus far, but that's also because I can't really cook food. And also, to water plants, you just kind of bloop. Do all this, and when they're done, they have a green outline so that you may pick them up. And then this is a seed thing. If I get a packet, it will it will tell me this plant does not need to be watered. Oh, cool! And that's a tree. That'll be a tree eventually. I just bought it to see what it would do. And then this thing, I found this. I don't know what this does. It was right here. It makes a cool noise. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm basically gonna go run off and catch some more bugs and do stuff. I'm sure y'all don't really want to see that. So that we can finish this barn. Because that's our first major task for the day. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back. Okay. So I streamed for a little bit. And we built this barn. Not the greatest thing in the world. I think what I'm gonna do eventually is make it a little bit bigger. Because it's kind of crowded right now. But I got my two cows. And they live here. They're happy and they're good. And then I built the chicken coop over here. And it's got my chicken in it. It's my one chicken. My cluck. And cluck has a hen house to do whatever cluck wants to do. And then cat lady. Yes. Yes, they do. Cat lady gave me the task to build a fishing thing. Um, so I built a fishing thing. I probably, I, I might move this somewhere else, because I don't know if I like them all sitting on my property all at once. <laughs> oh, dog eater. Dog eater is hungry. Okay. And then I got some more stuff. A whole bunch of delicious. Oops, I watered these things, I thought. Why do you not love me? Okay. And then I also bought this seed maker. Which I'm not sure about. Oh, uh, let's. Can I? I can't put lettuce in there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so I'm getting lettuce. Except that it doesn't really. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's cool. You gave me a cucumber. One cucumber. That's neat. So that should basically give me a. Uh, oh, give me more than one cucumber seed. That's uh, that's nice, I guess. So. Out of here, this needs to be right there. But it gives 
me things. Two cucumber seeds. Okay, so if I put one thing in there, it gives me, gives me two things. That's, that's nice, I guess. That's pretty neat. So it's a seed maker and it makes seeds. It does fancy things like that. I don't really know where to put it though. I guess I'll put it over here. And then I have a shipping catalog, which I don't really know where to put either. Put that there. I'll put this next to my. Put that right there. Oh. Ah. So I can buy everything from here and I don't have to. That's kind of nice. That's really nice. Ooh, so I can buy all of this stuff and I don't have to, uh. Oh, I kind of like that. So I can buy all of this and I don't have to, like, work super hard to get them. But I need a shipping. Oh. That's cool. Tracking cancel pending orders here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. But I need a shipping thing. I need the, the thing to get rid of. Um, the thing to receive stuff. So. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Still haven't found a good way to make money yet, but we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, I basically bought a whole bunch of stuff that I might need. And we're gonna sell all of this, sell these things. Sell that. So I can basically make... Need MP3, I'll screw that away, I don't need that. Sweet potato. I don't need that either. That a smoker. I don't really need that right now. I bought it, but <laughs> whatever. Let's throw this in here. That's a seed thing, which I don't really have a, a way to determine what seeds I have yet. Um, cucumbers there. I make a basic salad. What do I need? Uh, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, cabbage. So I have cabbage, lettuce, cucumber. I just need tomato, which I don't have tomato. Are you selling tomatoes? Sell oh, you are selling tomatoes. You can buy some strawberry seeds, some blackberry bush. I'll buy two of those. I'll buy two of those too. Actually, maybe I don't need two of those, maybe I just Summer and autumn. It grows in three days in summer. Okay. That's cool. So can I plant the tomatoes in summer? Oh, it's the first of summer. No wonder. Ah, so that's why everything has changed. I see. You have different stuff now because it's summertime. Nice. Nice. Do you still have the same stuff? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Got distracted. I have a carrot. That's an eggplant. I'll take that. I'll take a carrot. I'll take more carrots. Um, and then Dognator has been bringing me gifts, so I've got some stuff. To... Oh, I meant to get him food. Oh well. Uh, so Dognator has been bringing me gifts, and I got some sugar cane and some other stuff to plant real quick here. But that's pretty cool. Like, I mostly just wanted to. Oh, they died. Can't grow during summer. Oh, fine. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we'll put some carrots in here. Three, four, five, six. And I'll put eggplants there. Thank you, Dognator. You are still in my face, buddy. Two. Three. Four. Six. Okay. Strawberry seeds. I think I have three more strawberry seeds, or at least a set of strawberry seeds in here. I do. Well, the sugar cane, that's for summer. Six strawberry seeds. Six. And then 
I want to plant the sugar cane back there. Oh, okay. Water everything. Make sure it all gets nice and watered. So these things look like they'll grow during summer. Oh, cool. I got another cucumber. What do you want, Dominator? And these guys aren't producing milk yet, so far as I know. But they might. You want food too, so I need you some food. And I still have a few more fancy things to get. A few more fancy things to get, but that's okay. So let's just do that real quick since it's getting on 10 minutes, which is probably at a 30 minute episode or so. I'm not sure uh, how much I had recorded before. But let's just take this and put one in there, sell it. Oh yeah, let's go to the, to the secret bar real quick. And get, get a tomato. Tangerine, orange, cherry, apple, orange, coconut, cane, mango, cabbage, blackberry, banana, orange. Cocoa, dragon fruit, lemon. I don't have tomatoes. What the heck? We do not have tomatoes. Oh. Dumb. Can't carry tomatoes, man. That's not cool. I need one of those to make a salad. Okay. Well, that's, that's a shame. I had tomato last time I was here, but I didn't get one because I... I don't know, I didn't want to think about it. But, I guess, for now, so that's going to be all I have time for today. I will probably be doing this, I'll see if I can put it out daily, I don't know if I'll be able to do that yet. Um, but, so far this game has caught my interest, so, you know, good things might happen. It's caught my interest more than Minecraft anyway. I apologize uh, for all those waiting on Minecraft, I don't know, it's been harder than I think. Oh, also, I had this in my first episode, but I totally, completely, absolutely forgot to put it in this one because I screwed up and, you know, got all confused. But I really want to give a big shout out and a big, big thank you to Snakes in Z because he's the one who bought this game for me and I love him. Okay? So, his links are in the description. You need to go check him out right now and say hi and give him a hug. Okay? Go tell him that Jello sent you and that give him many hugs because he's really cool and he's a great guy. Okay? But I think that that is all I have time for today, and I can't do F5. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time. Yo, ho, ho!